हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू सॉल्यूशन ऑफ असाइनमेंट नंबर वन ऑन पावर सिस्टम वन सब्जेक्ट लेट अस सॉल्व द फर्स्ट न्यूमेरिकल रीड द फर्स्ट न्यूमेरिकल अ सबस्टेशन सप्लाइज पावर बाय फोर फीडर्स टू इट्स कंज्यूमर ओके अ सबस्टेशन हैव अ फोर फीडर एंड ईच फीडर इज सप्लाइंग टू द कंज्यूमर्स फीडर नंबर वन सप्लाइज सिक्स कंज्यूमर हुज इंडिविजुअल डेली मैक्सिमम डिमांड्स आर सेवेंटी के डब्ल्यू नाइन्टी के डब्ल्यू ट्वेंटी के डब्ल्यू फिफ्टी के डब्ल्यू टेन के डब्ल्यू एंड ट्वेंटी के डब्ल्यू आउट ऑफ दैट द फीडर वन हैज सिक्स कंज्यूमर्स एंड मैक्सिमम डिमांड ऑफ ईच कंज्यूमर इज गिवेन हियर एंड द मैक्सिमम डिमांड ऑन द फीडर while the maximum demand on the feeder is 200 kilowatt if we refer this this is the individual consumer maximum demand and this is the demand on the substation similarly feeder 2 supplies the consumers four consumers whose daily maximum demands are 60 40 70 and 30 kw and its own maximum demand is 160 kw feeder 3 and 4 they have not given the details feeder 3 and 4 how many consumers are there what is the individual consumer maximum demand but feeder 3 and 4 have a daily maximum demand of 150 kw and 200 kw feeder 3 is having 150 kw and feeder 4 is having 400 200 uh, kw these four feeders are feeding by a station the station maximum demand is 600 kw and what is asked determine the diversity factor of feeder 1 feeder 2 and station and all uh, diversity for all four feeders so let us calculate diversity factor for feeder 1 diversity factor is equal to sum of individual maximum demand upon maximum demand on feeder 1 so sum of individual consumer maximum demand is 70 plus 90 plus 20 plus 50 plus 10 plus 20 this is the sum of individual maximum demand of each consumer divided by 200 is the maximum demand on the feeder 1 this calculations give you 1.3 it means that feeder 1 is having the diversity factor 1.3 diversity factor for feeder 2 if we look to the feeder 2 feeder 2 is supplying the four consumers having this individual maximum demand hence sum of individual maximum demand on the feeder 2 is 60 plus 40 plus 70 plus 30 60 plus 40 plus 70 plus 30 divided by maximum demand of the station is 160 so it is 1.25 similarly we want to calculate the diversity factor for all feeders so that is the station diversity factor to calculate the station diversity factor we have to consider the sum of individual maximum demand of each feeder so sum of individual maximum demand of each feeder is 200 plus 160 plus 150 plus 200 and station maximum demand is 600 that is 200 plus 160 plus 150 plus 200 divided by 600 so it comes to 1.183 so this is regarding the calculation of diversity factor how to cross check this diversity factor is always one or greater than 1 okay this is the cross check okay let us see the second problem a central station is supplying energy to a commodity through two substation each substation feeds four feeder the maximum daily record on the demand are demands are power station 1 the power station is having 12000 kilowatt maximum demand station a is having 6000 kilowatt maximum demand and feeder 1 feeder 2 feeder 3 feeder 4 individual maximum demands are given similar data is for substation 2 for substation 2 9000 kilowatt is the maximum demand of the substation 2 so that is substation b and individual feeder is having the maximum demand 28201500 likewise for each feeder it is given and we have to calculate the diversity factors between the substation feeders of substation a and feeders of substation b so to calculate the substation 
to calculate the substation diversity factor that is what is the diversity factor at the power station that is sum of the individual maximum demand of both substation that is 6000 plus 9000 is the sum of individual maximum demand divided by station maximum demand is the 1000 uh, 12000 kilowatt so 6000 plus 9000 divided by 12,000 sorry here it figure should be 12,000 6,000 plus 9,000 divided by 12,000 it comes to 1.25 let us calculate the diversity factor of substation A so if we looked into data of the substation A the individual feeder is having this maximum demand and sum of individual maximum demand is 1700 plus 1800 plus 2800 plus 600 divided by 6000 that is this comes to 1.15 similarly for substation 2 if we calculate sum of individual maximum demand, demand that is 2820 plus 1500 plus 4000 plus 2900 divided by 9000 it will give the maximum it will give the diversity factor of diversity factor of substation 2 let us solve the third problem in this problem a generating station load cycle is given from morning night that is 0 hours to 6 hours it consumes the 20 megawatt 6 to 10 it, it is load is having 25 megawatt 10 to 12 it is 30 megawatt 12 to 16 25 megawatt from 16 to 20 35 and from 20 to 24 it is 20 we have to determine draw the load curve then find the maximum demand unit generated average load and load factor okay so how to draw the load curve so to load draw the load curve load curve is always the plot between time versus load in load in megawatt if we look the load pattern here it, the load is given for a one day that is x axis should be times of a day in hours so times of a day in hours so between 0 to 6 the demand is 20 megawatt between 6 to 10 it is 25 between 10 to 12 it is 30 between 12 to 16 again it is 25 between 16 to 20 it comes to 35 and from 20 to 24 it again 20 so if we look into this uh, load curve we can easily find out that maximum demand on the station is 35 megawatt and it remains for 4 hours so maximum demand is of 35 megawatt now we want to calculate number of units generated number of units generated is nothing but the energy consumed energy is nothing but the time con time integral of the power so power is given on the y axis and time is given on the x axis if we calculate the area under this curve this is nothing but the units generated so to calculate the area under this curve that is number of units generated is equal to area under the load curve so 20 megawatt for 6 hour plus 25 megawatt is for 4 hours 30 megawatt is for 2 hours 25 megawatt is for 4 hours 35 megawatt is for 4 hours and again 20 megawatt is for 4 hours so total if we calculate if we uh, calculate this this comes to 600 megawatt hour but units supplied this is the units supplied we have to calculate it so units supplied is equal to 6000 into 10 raised to 3 kwh because this must be converted into kwh again this is to be calculated this is for a single day so to calculate the number of units generated annually so it is it is asked that sorry it is number of units generated per day so it should be per day the number of units generated per day so per day is 6000 into 10 raised to 3 kwh so average load is equal to so now i want to calculate the average load so to calculate the average as usual so we have to take the sum of all loads divided by number of hours so number of units generated so number of units generator is 6000 megawatt hour divided by hours in a day is a 24 so it will give you so hours and hours will be get cancel and whatever remaining it is a 25 megawatt is your average load to calculate the load factor load factor have two formula either you can take number of units generated divided by maximum demand into hours in a day or 
we can take the average load divided by maximum demand okay so in both using both formulas the same uh, same answer will be uh, will be there if we do 6000 div 600 divided by uh, 35 into 24 then this answer and 25 divided by 34 this answer will remain same it comes to 0.714 that is 71.4 so uh, how to cross check it the load factor is always less than 100 percent that is it is always less than one so this is about the assignment number one on the power system one subject